first welcome back to my channel to friends tutorial and today we are going to read the 7th chapter of geography which is volcanoes basically volcanic eruptions se lava nikalta hai okay that's it that is what volcanic eruptions are and then ek naya news aaya tha italian volcano erupt hua tha kuch dino pehle now the question comes why volcanic eruptions se occur it is because of three causes first is heat and pressure inside the earth inside the uh, earth's crust heat and pressure is very high we have read in the earth structure about uh, the temperature of core and mantle and the pressure in core and mantle and the asthenosphere so as the rocks are bad conductor of heat so uh, the earth's heat uh, the rock material the solid rock material they are कन्वर्टेड इन टू मोल्टेन स्टेट लिक्विड स्टेट में बदल जाते हैं जिसकी वजह से क्रैक्स बन जाते हैं एंड द प्रेशर दैट दे ट्राई टू फाइंड एन स्केप थ्रू द फिश इन द क्रैक्स नेक्स्ट थिंग सेकेंड है इस प्लेट टेक्टॉनिक्स इसी भी अगर आपने न्यूज देखा होगा कि अर्थ को एक होते क्यों हैं किस वजह से होते हैं तो उसमें प्लेट टेक्टॉनिक्स के बारे में बताते हैं बेसिकली जो हम लोग का मैप है एशिया यूरोप अमेरिका जो भी कॉन्टिनेंट्स हैं वो पहले ऐसे नहीं बने थे पहले जो है बहुत ही जुड़े हुए थे हाउ दी कॉन्टिनेंट्स दे लुक लाइक इट इज कॉल्ड पैंजिया सो दिस इज द रीजन द प्लेट टेक्टॉनिक्स इट इज बिलीव दैट अर्थ क्राउ दैट इज मेड ऑफ मूवेबल प्लेट्स एंड वेन दीज प्लेट्स इकोलाइड अगेंस्ट सीच अदर जब टकरा जाती हैं तो वॉल्कैनिक करप्शन होते हैं एज वेल एज द प्लेट टेक्नोलॉजी इज ऑल्सो द कॉज फॉर अर्थ क्वेक ऑल्सो थर्ड इज मैगमा चेम्बर जो रॉक जो मेल्ट हो जाते हैं इन साइड द अर्थ क्रॉस लिक्विड स्टेट में आ जाते हैं तो जब हीट और प्रेशर की वजह से मेल्ट हो जाते हैं देन इट फॉर्म्स अ चेम्बर Uh, as you can see in the diagram, basically these magma chambers, these are molten rock materials. ठीक है? Again, because of pressure, the pressure develops and the lava that comes out. Volcanic eruptions happens. Next is the products of volcanoes. Now, of uh, when the volcanic eruption happens, a uh, number of products they uh, comes out. like steam which is most abundant gas that comes out of the volcano then next is uh, certain gases like hydrogen um sulfide sulfur dioxide carbon dioxide molten rock jo rock pighal jate hain wo nikal jo lava nikalta hai wo dust ashes and other liquid and solid matters so usko bhi thoda classify kiya gaya hai first is magma and lava magma which is inside the earth the molten rock material which is inside the earth and when that material that comes out to the surface uh, reaches the surface of the earth that is known as lava kai sare materials hote hain and gases hote hain jab steam eject hota hai jab steam nikalti hai it forms clouds or clouds bante hain to it results in the rainfall tabhi जो लावा हो जाता है वो वहाँ पे ठंडा हो जाता है और इग्नस रॉक्स दे आर फॉर्म्ड विच वी रेड इन द रॉक चैप्टर अदर्स गैस इज दैट टोल यू दैट वॉज हाइड्रोजन सल्फाइड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड हाइड्रोजन गैस नेक्स्ट इज अ सॉलिड मैटर सॉलिड फ्रैगमेंट्स निकलते हैं रॉक पीसेस के लाइक इन दिस पिक्चर दैट यू कैन सी द रॉक पार्टिकल्स दिस रॉक पार्टिकल्स एन ओनर्स पायरो स्मॉल साइज पार्टिकल्स को लापिली कहते हैं एंड वॉल्कैनिक एरप्शंस को बॉम्ब्स भी कहते हैं बच क्योंकि ये कई सारे मटेरियल्स को एजेक्ट करता है इसकी जो हम लोग को पढ़नी है वो है स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ वॉल्कानो सो पहली चीज़ है वेंट वेंट वो होता है जहाँ से लावा फ्लो करता है सर्कुलर पाइप की तरह होता है जैसे एक नॉर्मल वेंट होता है वैसे ही ये ये वेंट भी होता है लावा में सेकेंड थिंग इज वॉल्कैनिक कोन जैसे नॉर्मल आइसक्रीम कोन होता है वैसे ही वॉल्कैनिक का है एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो दीज आर एक्चुअली लैंड फॉर्म्स ऑफ अ वॉल्कैनो वेन दावा इट गेट्स इट इज एरप्टेड फ्रॉम द वॉल्कैनो इट मेक्स अ कोन लाइक स्ट्रक्चर इट इज नोन एज वॉल्कैनिक 
कौन नेक्स्ट मोस्ट फेमस सब टॉपिक टाइप्स ऑफ वॉल कैनोज एज वी हैव एज यू माइट हैव रेड इन क्लास फाइव और फोर्थ देर आर थ्री काइंड ऑफ वॉल कैनोज बेस्ड ऑन फ्रिक्वेंसी और भी तरीके के वॉल कैनोज होते हैं बट बेस्ड ऑन फ्रिक्वेंसी तीन टाइप के वॉल कैनोज होते हैं फर्स्ट इफ एक्टिव वॉल कैनोज विच आर प्रेजेंट इन इन एक्टिव स्टेट मतलब धीरे धीरे कभी ना कभी कुछ सालों में होते रहते हैं एरप्ट होते रहते हैं कभी भी एरप्ट हो सकते हैं नाउ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग यू शुड नो द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ सच वॉल कैनोज सो द सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ एक्टिव वॉल कैनोज दैट इज माउंट ट्रम्बोली माउंट एटना द फेमस वॉल कैनो इन इटली माउन ऑलिया इन हवाई सो दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ एक्टिव वॉल कैनो दैट यू शुड नो second type is dormant volcanoes with which are not erupted in recent uh, historical period but they regarded as uh, sleeping uh, volcanoes because they might be active they may become active at any time so these are dormant type volcanoes and the examples very important mount kilimanjaro of africa and mount vesuvius and uh, other volcanoes on uh, philippines and japan these are the examples of dormant volcanoes third one is extinct volcanoes which are basically a extinct jo khatam ho chuke hain jo ki erupt nahi honge which are like which are not likely to become active now the example of extinct volcano that is mount congo gua in south america and mount kenya in africa mount kenya is famous and uh, the next sub topic that is effects of volcanoes in volcanic eruptions ka effect kya hota hai ab aisa nahi hai ki volcanoes ka sirf aur sirf destructive effect hota hai constructive effect bhi hota hai first constructive effect that it uh, results in the formation of landforms landforms created on earth surface they are called as extrusive landforms let's say volcanic plateau ho gaye volcanic mountains volcanic plains so the theory of volca uh, the formation of volcanic cone same goes with the landforms when the volcano erupts the lava on the earth surface that cools down and that results in the formation of landforms and we have read in the rock chapter that the first the primary rock igneous rock it is formed so the example of volcanic plateau that is south african plateau colombian plateau ethiopian plateau these examples are important second is volcanic mountains volcanic mountains are formed uh, from the materials ejected from the fissures in the earth's crust for example mount olya in hawaii the famous mountain in japan mount fuji so these are the examples of volcanic mountains next is volcanic plains plains are basically they are vast and smooth they are formed by the extensive volcanic flooding from the volcanic centers for example the western victorian plains in victoria australia that is the fine example of volcanic plains and again examples are important next thing formed by the volcanic eruptions that is caldera lake These are generally formed when the magma chamber it is no longer able to emit sufficient magma. Uh, ऐसे कह सकते हैं जब थोड़ा extinct volcano की तरफ आते हैं. So uh, this results in the collapse of the cone, the volcanic cone, पूरी तरीके से या it partially. So this depression eventually gets filled with water and it forms a lake. the most uh, famous example that is greater lake in usa that is a caldera lake it is about 10 km wide and it is the deepest lake in the usa so this is caldera lake next is hot spring the heat inside the earth surface uh, under the underground water particularly around the magma chamber it uh, the water turns into steam so it gushes up to the surface so this is what hot spring hot spring is and it is also known as thermal springs and hot springs are rich source of sulfur example of hot spring is manikaran kullu valley of himachal pradesh jo log himachal pradesh gaye honge dekha hoga next sub topic is geyser 
Giza is basically in uh, the picture you can see. It is a fountain of hot water and steam which escapes from the underground water. When hot volcanic rock ke contact mein aata hai, then it results in the foundation of, foundation, foundation of hot water and steam. Example, the old faithful geyser in Yellowstone National Park, Yoming, USA. So, is the temperature that is about 95.6 degrees Celsius. So, it is quite hot. Other constructive effects of volcanoes, that is the nutrients for the soil, uh, the volcanic eruption. It creates fertile soil, which is good for agriculture. And places that have high level of heat, where geothermal energy is, uh, it uh, helps with the production of electricity as well or uh, it, it, it and also it attracts tourists personally i'm very very interested in volcano it's like my fantasy to see volcanic eruption next comes destructive effects very easy First of all, it destroys life and property. Agriculture feeds are covered with uh, volcanic ash, uh, which makes them unsuitable for cultivation. Huge cloud causes heavy rains, and that results in floods and landslides. It all the volcanoes also emit poisonous gases, which pollute the environment. And also, explosive volcanoes in ocean islands they are followed by high tsunami waves which we will read in the earthquake in detail. Next is most important volcanic zones. Or is me a zone nahi hai, sif do zone bataya gaya hai, ek or zone hai, which is uh, along with these zones, wo earthquake zones mein bhi aata hai. So first volcanic zones ke liye, first is circumpacific belt, it is also called as a uh, Pacific Ring of Fire because 80% of the total number of active volcanoes they are uh, situated here. Like uh, like 100 in Philippines, 17 in Indonesia, 14 in Japan. Second zone is Mid-World Mountain Belt. Vesuvius, Mount Etna, Mount Trompoli, famous reactive volcanoes are in this belt. Mein aate hai. So if, uh, uh, only active Volcanic uh, India May, which is situated in Andamar and Nicobar Island. Andamar Nicobar Island, jo, uh, wahan pe, uh, volcano hai, wo is zone belt me yata, mid world mountain belt me. Hawaiian Island, Canary Island, Mount Kenya, ye sari chise, is built mountain belt me aate hai. And that's when the here the chapter finishes. So if you understood it nicely, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Heaven's Tutorial and its notes plus the uh, exact images is uh, given in the description box and if you have any doubt just message me on the email ID or comment.